Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> ah, very good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad. What about you, Mauricio? How are you tonight? Mauricio. Sorry. <laughs> there you are. Okay, uh, I'm a little tired because I went to the gym and I, I, I. <laughs> My arms uh, hurt. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. When I do this, this part hurts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Ouch. I was imitating you, but I started imitando también me dolía. I went to the gym at 2 p.m. And you went really? at night. Mm, yes, no. Mm, In the afternoon. Uh, around around uh, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not bad. Okay. Hi, Victoria. Hi, hi teacher. Hi. Where do you live, Victoria? I live in Concepcion de Ataco, Aguachapan. Oh my gosh, so far away. Ataco. Yeah. Okay, interesting. <laughs> and you, Sandra? Where do you live? I live in Soyapango. Ah, I think you told me, right? And Mauricio, where do you live, Mauricio? I live in Ilopango. Lupango, okay. Lupango, so Lupango, Lupango, not far. You, Ulisa? I think Ulisa is not here. When I lived in El Hi, Salvador. Yeah. Hi, Ulisa. I don't see you, though. Hi. I live in Aguachapan. Aguachapan. Yes. Oh, okay. Wow. So we have people from the entire country, right? From San Miguel, <laughs> San Salvador, a lot of places. Wow, that's nice. When I lived in, in, the, in El Salvador, I lived in, in Mexicanos near uh, University of El Salvador in the past. In the past, not anymore. Okay, well, let's begin. Victoria, can you read the objective, please? Okay. In this lesson, you will listen to conversation where time expressions are first introduced. Introduced? Uh, introduced. Introduced. Okay. Introduced. Yes. Very good. Time expressions for the simple present. Let's listen to the conversation. Ah, Ulises. There you are. No me sé los nombres todavía, pero ya. Les recuerdo los rostros. Byron, you too. Byron, where do you live? I live in Ataco. Oh my gosh, no le digo, de todo el país. I... <laughs> en Ataco. Ataco, yeah. I live in Ataco. Byron, Patricia is from Ataco too. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. You're probably neighbors and you don't know it. <laughs> My, Mario Saldivar, I don't see you. Hi. Ah, I remember you. Eh, no, the nombre no sé quiénes son. Cuando le veo el rostro, sí, ya sé quiénes. Okay. And Claudia, you too. Okay, I remember you. Claudia, where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. <laughs> It's varied. Mario, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Okay. So we have San Salvador, people from Ilopango, Soyapango, Ataco. And what San else? Salvador, San Salvador City. Ulisa Santa Ana, did you say? Can we have Santa Tecla? In Aguachapan. Aguachapan. Somebody says Santa Tecla, Santa Ana. I can't remember. Okay, nice. We are going to practice this dialogue. Listen. 
In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, questions about Five. the vocabulary? You should, you should come to the gym. Uh huh, tell me. How do you say announcer? Announcer. Announcer. Okay, what else? Questions about the pronunciation or the meaning? No? No questions? Let me see this. Hold on. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Free intermediate one. Okay, yeah, this is ours. Okay, I think you're ready, guys. So we're going to practice this dialogue. Listen and repeat, okay? But with the microphone on, on mute, like yesterday, like last night. Ready? Yes, let's do it. Here we go. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So... Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah. Okay, everybody repeat. Gustavo, repeat too. Marilyn, repeat. Angelica, everybody repeating on mute. Here we go. Yeah, I do. Really? I, I can't. Really? What time do you go? There. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Intenten imitar la entonación también como, yeah, I do. No, yeah, I do. All right, try to imitate the person. Continue. Really? What time do you go to work? Okay. And by the way, this is go to, go to work. And this is the pronunciation to what time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home? Wow, that's late. Get home at midnight. Midnight? Wait, 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 wait. There. Five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? When do you get home? Home at night. Home at night. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I I'm a TV announcer. 
I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Oh, you're Helen Black. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, perfect. We already practiced this. So the idea with this dialogue, guys, is they're practicing with usually, the frequency, right? Usually, usually. And if you notice, they're using WH questions with do and does, right? When do you get home? A lot of questions, what do you do? A lot of WH questions like the ones we saw last night. Don't you recognize me? <clears throat> That's not, but anyway, WH, WH. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> all of these are WH questions with the present simple. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna send this to WhatsApp and I would like you to practice this dialogue, but this time only modify it. Esta vez solo la vamos a modificar, okay? So, imagine I'm working with uh, Angelica, okay? And I say, hey, so do you usually come to class at night? And I say, yeah, yes, I, do. I do. Oh, really? What time do you, do you have classes? At what time? 9 p.m. <laughs> Okay, or imagine another situation. Hey, what time do you come to the, the salsa class? <laughs> salsa dance class, okay, and modify it. This time you can make it up. Lo pueden in inventar también, okay? Como, ¿dónde están? Okay, in, in a class, in a party, I don't know, something you usually do. Ready? Try to modify it a little bit. Here we go. And we are going to work in, let me see, in pairs. All right, so accept the invitation, please. There it is. We can accept. I'm going to start. Okay, Mario. Come to, to the church in the night. <laughs> at night. Uh -huh. At night, sorry. Um, no, I don't. Uh, really? What time do you go to church? Or you don't go to church. <laughs> Imagine I... you do. Say yes. Say yes. Hey, but do you I... do you go to church, Marisol, or you don't? Um, In real life. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. So imagine yes, you I go do. to church with Byron. <laughs> and right now you see, hey, Byron. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Continue. Okay. Um. Do you usually clean to the house in the morning? Yes, I do. Really? Um, what time do you go to um, the supermarket? I super I supermarket in the I go in the morning. Yes, I go to the supermarket, the supermarket in, the, in the morning. Perfect. I start by in this place. And 
when do you get uh, a word? Uh, the traffic, yes, because the traffic is, is harder. Yes, I, I, I think the same too. <laughs> I think yes. the same. I travel to to the Ilopango uh, uh, to to San Salvador, but uh, nearly for the hospitals because I study. I I go to the university at say six a.m. and go to the home. I go to the home. No home. I go Sorry. home. I go home yes. at um, um Java and okay. HTML. Okay. Uh, Do you prefer some language in specifically? Yes, SQL. SQL for database. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you finish? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Perfect. Let's go back. So you practice the dialogue twice. Once with, uh, for example, Gustavo and Ulises, and then Mario and Ulises. Yeah, you finished? Yes. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Let's go back. Let's wait for everyone to come back. Give it a minute. So what kind of job do you do, Gustavo? I heard you were talking about programming. I can't hear you. <laughs> You're on mute, Gustavo. <laughs> I can't hear you. Sorry. And now I'm working in sales. Oh, OK. But I we sell technology. Oh right. Okay. And Mario is, is my partner, but he is in support Mario. Yes. And okay, the, same, the, the same work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Interesting. All right. Um now we're gonna study a different topic. We're gonna work with prepositions of time. Okay. Um, let's watch the video and then I will try to explain it in a simple form. Here we go. Can you read the objective, please? Let's see who. Sandra, go ahead. Remember, you're on mute, so we can't hear you. By the end of this lesson, participant will be able to identify and use time expressions such as preposition of time and adverb of time. Thank you. Here we go. Pay attention and take By notes. the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples. We have classes in the morning. 
My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay, so there is an easy way to know this. I will send you a video later, one of my videos, okay, so that you get it, but it's very simple. I will explain it here. All right, uh, please take notes because this is gonna help you with the answers in general, all right? When you talk about prepositions of time. Okay, so when, do you, when we're talking about time, notice that only with time, okay? When do you use in? You're gonna use in when the duration is, this is a tip, all right? It's not a rule. When the duration is more than 24 hours, okay? In general, because we have exceptions. Some exceptions are, take notes and I will try to send you this too. Some exceptions are in the morning, in the evening, okay? A also future, when you say, hey, I will see you in, in a number. For example, I will see you in five minutes, in one year, <laughs> etc. Okay, those are exceptions. But in general, you're gonna use in when it lasts more than 24 hours, okay? And then you're gonna use on for one day, meaning 24 hours, right? Something that has a duration of 24 hours. For example, on my birthday, right? Because your birthday is one day, 24 hours, right? Okay. Or you can say on May, Third, because it's only one day, 24 hours, meaning one day. On May 3rd, even if you say on May 3rd, 1998, for example, it's one day. So you, ha you have to say on, okay? Etc. okay, and an exception is on the weekend. All right, one of the exceptions. And then you can use at when it is less than 24 hours. So you can say, for instance, I will see you at lunchtime, or I will see you at 7 p.m., right? Because it's not 24 hours, it's less than that. So this is a simple way to remember prepositions of time without having to memorize everything. Does it make sense? Is it clear? So, so? Okay. Yes. I will send you the rules, write them please, because they're gonna help you solve the following exercises. So we're gonna do it here. Let me see. Let's see the exercise here on the platform. And then we're gonna do one together. Okay. Siguiendo esa regla que les acabo de dar, ¿cuáles serían las respuestas? A ver, I will send you the pictures. Hold on. Puede alguien I mandar la, eh, la foto de las reglas al grupo? Estas. Please. Somebody. Ya las envió alguien? No, not yet. No. Okay. Yo okay. Thank you. Bueno. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Siguiendo las reglas, ¿cuál sería acá? Eh, on the platform. I get up. At, at six. six. At six. At very six. good. Okay. Two. At. I go to bed late at night. At night. Yes, awesome. Three. I start work at at 
11.30 a.m. Perfect. Okay, four. I have lunch, I at, have lunch 2 at 2 p.m. In, in the afternoon. afternoon. Perfect, we have at and two. In the afternoon is one of the exceptions. Okay, five. I stay up at uh, one a.m. On, on weekends. On the weekends. That's an exception because it's not one day, but yes, it's on the weekend. All right, perfect. Number six. I wake up late, up late on Sunday. 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 It's one day, okay. I watch TV. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. Perfect. Eight. I do my, I do my homework, homework around, around four, four in, in the afternoon. The afternoon. At four in the afternoon. Around four. Okay. Nine. That one we didn't see. Uh, I work on weekdays. On weekdays. Yes. On weekdays. So one of the exceptions would be on the weekends and on the weekdays. All right. Then. I get home early get home in the early morning in from the morning my, night shift. my night shift. In go home early in the morning. Okay. Perfect. That should be right. Okay, awesome. So questions about this topic? Nope. We're gonna practice speaking in a little bit with that topic, okay? But for now, we're gonna do this a uh, listening exercise. I think there are problems with this one, right? Yeah, right. Creo que será uno que tenía bastantes errores. Y hay una persona eh, a la que le pueden preguntar todas las respuestas, porque a veces no es que ustedes hayan hecho mal las, las respuestas, sino que estu las crearon mal cuando hicieron el programa. Entonces, uno de los contactos que les dijo que les podía ayudar, a ellos les pueden pedir las, las respuestas. Ok. Teacher, pero yo pregunté, bueno, no sé, quizás muy tarde, por tipo 5 de la tarde, Ajá. pero ya no me contestaron. Y Hola, aparecía sí. en línea la persona. Ajá. Hmm. Sí, quizás antes de las 5. No okay. sé. Alguien escribió que decía que le podían ayudar en esas cosas porque yo no tengo las respuestas. Pero ah, okay. eh, si hay alguien, es que este, este año no sé quién está a cargo, pero siempre hay una persona a cargo de darles las respuestas y ayudarles con la plataforma. Así que si alguien sabe a quién es, prueben los números que están ahí. Si alguien sabe, compártelo con el grupo, ¿ok? All right, right now we're going to practice the speaking part. In these questions, you already have the... Eh, the preposition, okay? So we can do it in pairs. One person is gonna be student A and the other person will be student B, okay? Let me see. Can you see me? Yeah, right? Okay, look. So you have two parts. I think you can see, yeah, okay. This is student A and this is student B. So student A asks these questions and B these questions and discuss. Ya están dadas las preposiciones, at, in, on. ¿Ok? Lo único que tienen que hacer es responder las preguntas, pero usando la preposición correcta que ya está en la pregunta. ¿Es that clear? Yes. Ok, perfect. Um, ajá, ok, let's work in pairs. Here we go. Accept the invitation, please. Si están solos, me avisan.
Mauricio. How are you? Ok. Este, no entendí muy bien qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Let me see. Envió unas preguntas, Marisol, A y B. Ok. ¿Did you see them? Ok. Una persona es A y la otra es B. Preguntan y el otro responde. Take time. Uh, uh -huh. Primero usted lee la uno suya y luego David la una suya y así. Ok. Ok. Um, verdad que no se ve mi foto ni no se, o sea no se ve mi persona creo yo no eh, no. no sé cómo es que, que se quita esa cosa ah ya Oye. está ahí sí but the questions you have the questions eh, <laughs> Es que cuando se van a ver las preguntas es que se paga la cámara. Ah. Pero ah. Es que a los que no les pasa eso es los que están en la computadora y ven las preguntas desde el teléfono. Pero cuando no se sale de ah. Zoom se paga la cámara. Ah. Yeah. That's why. Ok, but you can speak, no problem. You usually on, week, on weekday afternoon. Oh. Permit. Okay. I usually get up in, on weekend. On weekday, uh, weekday, mm -hmm. uh, weekday, um, six a.m. at six a.m. What do you do? Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Um, six a.m. Okay. Okay. Me. What do you usually do on? Weekday evenings. ¿Qué haces usualmente? Maybe see watch, watch on TV. Okay. On weekend, right? Weekday. 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 Okay. Weekday. Weekday Week is. Uh, Día de semana. Yeah. Ah, okay. De lunes a viernes. Ya. Yeah. Okay. No la, la había confundido con el weekday. Mm -hmm. A un día. Go. In the in the morning. Um. I go to the small. To the mall. Um, small. <laughs> mall. Solo mall. 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 Yeah. And do you ever go skiing winter? Winter? Seven. What do you what do you like to do? Relax at this time? I like to listen to music and I like to see um applications uh, like Facebook or Instagram or I see my photos in the cell phone. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Mm. Do you ever go in skills in winter? Uh, it Do you ever go skiing in the winter? No. Toma el turno. Digamos, Claudia pregunta la dos. 
Y luego Ulises pregunta a la dos del otro. Así los dos responden también. Ah, uh, ok. Next question. Uh, What do you usually do on weekdays? Evening. 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 I usually on Wednesday um 18 a.m. Uh, very early. Okay, okay. okay. Number six. How do you usually feel on Monday mornings? Why? How do you usually feel feel? On Monday mornings, why? Mm, usually, mm, with a sleep. Mm -hmm. I usually sleep on Monday oh. mornings. Usually, um, I usually get up at seven, seven a.m. Okay. And only question. I don't have a question. Um, and you? What does sunset? Atardecer. Uh -huh. Sunset. Atardecer. Do you ever look at the sun uh, at sunset? Um, I... No, usually uh, look <laughs> at sunset and sunset, but um, uh, algunas veces. Oh. Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Only. <laughs> Speak or 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 English. Okay. English music. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree. Sí, I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Um, Esa sería la, que es la última ya, ¿verdad? Where, where, <laughs> you born, where you born in the 1990s? If you know, when were you born? Uh, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál es esa? Where number, number seven. Uh, ah, yeah. I yes. Uh, were you born in the? No, no, I don't. I I born in the nineteen eighty eighty five. Okay. Okay. Nineteen eighty five. Can Can you remember what do? No. Can you remember what you did on Thursday afternoon? Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember. I I went to to the supermarket to buy a to buy a I don't know to buy a groceries. Hi Byron. Let's wait. Hi. Let's wait for everyone. Soy más obediente. <laughs> Me mandé a llamar y vino rápido. <laughs> sí. That's good. Where do you work, Byron? I work in a restaurant. And what's the name of the restaurant? Entre Nubes Cafe. What is it? Uh, sorry, I don't understand why. <laughs> what is it? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo se llama? Entre Nubes Café. Entre Nubes Café. Ah, okay. All right. Perfect. How was the practice? Easy? Difficult? 
Por favor. Teacher. ¿Ya? Teacher, podemos resolver, podemos resolver las, la actividad de, de, del audio para terminar lo, las lecciones. Yeah, no, no because I don't have the answers. That's the problem. Oh, no teacher. tengo las respuestas. Pero alguien mandó un contacto. Les estaba diciendo, no sé si... ¿Quién lo mandó? Alejandra, creo. No sé, a ver. Angélica. 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 Ah, Angélica. ¿Usted había hablado con Fernanda? Sí. Y le dio la respuesta. Las respuestas. Ajá. Comparta las respuestas, Angélica. Mejor. Si las tiene mejor, así no les están pidiendo todos a, a Fernanda. Ajá. Las tienes, Angélica. No, pero solo quiero decir. Parte, ¿Qué no parte solo está he mal? Falta para terminarlo. Estoy... ¿Qué preguntas están mal de esa, de esa, de esa parte que dicen? Porque yo ya hice esa parte y no, no tuve problema. Nine. No, es que a veces por un punto o por o que le falta una palabra están mal. Bueno, o sea, si oh, las tienen bien, espacio. bien. O por un espacio a veces, exacto. Entonces, si tiene, si puede compartir las okay. respuestas, Angélica. O si no, alguien que las pida, las comparte. Porque quizá Angélica está ocupada, no sabemos y todo. Angélica, please share. Angélica. <ríe> todo no sobre ella. Bueno, quien, quien las tenga primero o que tenga tiempo, compártelas. Así no le preguntamos todas a Fernanda. Ustedes inténtenlo. Si no pueden, igual pidan las respuestas. Y si pueden copiar sus respuestas, no hay problema. <ríe> Especialmente Guajera, por eso, porque, eh, Angélica. porque a veces hay problemas. <risa> ok. Let's see. Yes, eh, eh, le voy a buscar en la compu y se las mando. Ok, thank you. You're the best. <risa> Nadie le dice gracias. Thank you. <risa> thank you. <risa> thank you. <risa> yeah, please. You're welcome. You're right. the best. Ajá. Uh -huh. <risa> <laughs> this one, this listening to Rodney is a he gets that bad. Yeah, no, I don't wanna listening, I don't wanna do. Okay, I think we can do one more. Remember, you have to complete lesson one and lesson two. Yeah, okay, this is lesson three. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to start lesson three. So what we're going to do is I'm going to send you an exercise to practice prepositions of time following the rules. Okay. And we're going to work on that in groups of three. So time at in one based on, on the rules. Okay. So I will send you a link. Le voy a enviar un link de ejercicios. Los hacen en grupo y con eso terminamos. Okay. Ready? Ready. Here we go. Accept the invitation, please. And wait for the link. I'll send it in a minute. Accept the invitation. Good. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Quiero ver. Mm, lo voy a abrir en la compu. Pero... Ahora lo ven. Sí, sí. Ok. Solo van a escribir in, on o at. Ahorita mm, lo veo. Oh, see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Preposition of time one. Uh, it's arriving. It's arriving. On In February. On at February the third. In, In February. On February. Solo un día de 24 horas, ¿verdad? Entonces sería on. Uh -huh. on. On. on February. At eight o'clock. Lucy. 
is <clears throat> oh, 13 February, February 13. Yes. <clears throat> Lucy um, is ar is arriving in February de las reglas in más de 24 horas on 24 horas at menos de 24 horas. Y hay okay. excepciones, tienen que ver las excepciones también. So on, Lucy uh, is arriving on February the 13th, porque uh, febrero 13 solo dura 24 horas, ¿verdad? Okay, so February 13th. Yeah. Luego. At 8 o'clock. Yes. Uh, on. Like, on. On. Mm. on the summer. On the summer. I ¿Cuánto think? dura el verano? 24 horas. No. At In the summer. summer. In. In Ajá, the háganse summer. unas notas fáciles. En general son así, ok. Eh, in uh, más de 24 horas, ok. Uh -huh. On 24 horas. Y at menos de 24 horas. Esa es una regla que yo me inventé, pero funciona. At menos de 24 horas. Ok. Y prestar atención a las excepciones. Las que les di no son todas, pero son casi todas. Ok. Ya con uh -huh. esto es más fácil saber qué proposición es. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, in okay. the summer. Ok. No me salí de América. Queremos salir de América. In. This. No sería. O oh, at. No, in. El, Creo el que... siglo XVI. Más de 24 ah. horas, un siglo. Me mm. <risa> que era como específico. Yeah. Uh -huh. The leader were popular. In the 96. In the 96. 1960s. 19. I graduated from 19. university. In uh -huh. It's easy, right? <laughs> His birthday is in June. Let me see the exceptions. Oh. The exceptions are uh, here on, on the text. Yes. Yeah, that I said. Yeah. Okay. Lives or lives. Lives. The train leaves tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. On tomorrow morning? No. Oh, at tomorrow morning. Yeah. Mm. Nothing. Leave uh, tomorrow morning. At tomorrow morning. When you say see you tomorrow, no, see you see you tomorrow. At right? At, at 8 a.m. Check. I think there shouldn't be anything here. Ajá, no va nada ahí. Porque see you tomorrow. No es see you in tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, It's click on, click on, on show. A ver qué dice. Nada. Show. Wow. Bien. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nada. Nothing. 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 <laughs> mm, maybe. Nothing. No, nothing. No, ponga un guión, a ver. Mm -hmm. oh, nada. Okay. Ajá, ahí está. Nada, eso no va nada. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow no va nada. Mm -hmm. okay. so, I, love, um, I love going skiing. Skiing in January? In January. In January. Mm -hmm. Check. Okay. We meet at uh... Hi guys. Hi teacher. Did you finish? 
terminaron? No, yet. ¿Y quién está no. todos? ¿Quién te repite, teacher? <ríe> yes. Please. Estaban leyendo las respuestas, ¿no? Sí, sí. Ah, ok. It's time. Let's go back. Let's wait for everyone. One minute. Hold on. There they are. Okay. How was the exercise? Difficult? Mm. A little? Number 11 is very okay. complicated. Number 11? Yeah. yeah. What happened? Yeah, Let me see. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Guys, ¿cómo se dice nos vemos mañana? See you soon and see, see you tomorrow. 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 No decimos see you in tomorrow, ¿verdad? Ni see you at tomorrow. Ni see you on tomorrow. Nada. Ese llevaba un guión. O sea, no se dice nada con tomorrow. But okay. uh, in, in the 16th. Yeah. Number 16. What happened? Let me see. <coughs> I will, I will check in, in we nothing. We went out for dinner mm -hmm. last Wednesday. Yeah. <coughs> nothing. <coughs> okay, guys, you say, for example, we had classes last week. Se dice last week, no se dice the last week. Ni se le pone ninguna preposición, solo es last week y ya. Okay, so nothing. Esas eran trampas. <laughs> Those were traps. Tomorrow doesn't need anything. And last week doesn't need anything either. Okay, that's it. Um, I will send you the video explaining this, but this should help. A ver, <clears throat> give me one second. Mm -hmm. This one, okay. Okay, para summarize. Okay, in se usa para más de 24 horas. Como el verano, es in the summer. ¿Cuánto dura el verano? Más de 24 horas, ¿verdad? ¿Y un año? Si dicen 2022, sería in 2022. Okay, on para un día. Okay, o sea, 24 horas. Si yo les digo Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, ¿qué sería? In Mother's Day, at Mother's Day, or on Mother's Day? On. On, on dice Mario. On. <ríe> Aunque no lo escuché, pero lo vi. On, porque dura 24 horas, ¿ok? Y at, para otras que no duran 24 horas. Y hay excepciones, por eso decimos in the morning, a pesar que no es 24 horas, porque es parte de las excepciones. Esta regla... Eh, no existe, me la inventé yo pero les funciona bastante y hace que no tengan que memorizarse a que in va con días y con meses y esto va con los años y esto para los siglos y esto para la hora y esto para mañana o sea para que no tengan que memorizarse todo esto esto es más fácil ¿okay? lo que sí hay que aprenderse es las reglas las excepciones, eso es todo que las excepciones en total son como seis nada más, es más fácil que estar con el montón. Les voy a enseñar cómo es la lista. Bueno, en ese, en ese video muestro una, pero van a ver. Fíjense. 
uh, add in on prepositions of time. Ahí está. Miren cómo son las listas que tendrían que aprenderse. A ver, a ver si eso les sirve, si les sirve más la lista, está bien. A algunos les sirve más eso que la regla. A ver, es esta. Bueno, no se ve. <risa> Esto. Ya se dieron cuenta de cuánto es. Es mejor aprenderse seis, ¿verdad? Las excepciones nada más. Que aprenderse todo eso, porque sí hay que aprenderlo. O sea, el día, el holiday, no sé qué, Friday, de eh, is es mucho. Bueno, ahí les comparto el video. ¿Any questions? No? Ok. No. Tomorrow, no classes. I will see you on Monday. On Monday. <laughs> on Monday. Yes. Have a good night. Have a great weekend. Have fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good night. Bye. <laughs>